I'm Saeed Nahavan, the, the Director for Center for Intelligence Systems Research. Uh, I have 53 researchers in my center, and our, we focus in the area of uh, multidisciplinary type research. Uh, we focus on simulation-based optimization and also haptics and robotics, very exciting areas. Uh, the term intelligent systems is referred to systems uh, which they have uh, emergent and uh, evolving behavior. And our center uh, has been quite unique by having uh, a multi-skill uh, set, uh, having mechanical, electronics, electrical, and software engineers. So when there are a particular problem which requires drawing in uh, skills from different sectors or from different disciplines, we have all of it in-house. Uh, other things, we also have our own uh, supercomputers, so it, this allows us to f uh, focus and do uh, type of work which can be classified and cannot be farmed off or can be sent outside uh, our center for processing. The evolving behavior mainly refers to uh, systems uh, with uh, certain level of uncertainties or large degree of uncertainties or uh, throughout with time, uh, their, their behavior actually changes. Uh, for example, if you look at uh, crowd simulation, uh, or if you look at uh, weather pattern, and so on. Uh, the Center for Intelligent Systems Research at Deakin University, uh, in my opinion, can play a major role uh, within Australian industry. Uh, in particular, we have series of uh, devices, uh, tools, and techniques, and researchers uh, where they have been involved both uh, at fundamental research, but at the same time been focusing on applied research where we have had many industry partners and doing joint research with industry partners and delivering projects both on budget and on time. I think this is quite important. And it's not only uh, getting a project, but also delivering it and uh, fully, both on time and on budget, I think is very important. Uh, for example, if you look at virtual training, uh, virtual training can be applied in many domains. Uh, health is one domain where you want to train doctors. Another one is uh, in future, I believe, doctors will use haptics for pre-planning operations and uh, then they can work on a virtual patient which information is uh, from the actual patient and then uh, once they are confident or once they have sorted out the operations, uh, then they can actually go and practice on the actual patient. Other areas are, for example, in manufacturing domains, that uh, pro uh, prototyping cars, and uh, here you want to work on virtual design and virtual cars uh, and familiarize uh, production operators before actually the car actually exists. And uh, the third area of application, virtual training application, is uh, military. Uh, in particular, you want to train uh, your forces when, for example, they are handling uh, dangerous goods or explosives uh, or diffusing bombs uh, to actually uh, familiarize themselves with the situation and have a go at the system a few times in the virtual world until they are very comfortable how they want to handle the suspect object before actually use tele-robotics or tele-operations to handle uh, that, that particular situation or uh, scenario. Yeah, in the area of simulation-based optimization, uh, we have been looking at uh, modeling large and complex systems. Uh, we started modeling uh, manufacturing system systems uh, back in late 80s, and then uh, it has grown from there, and uh, we have been focusing on uh, design and development and modeling of uh, infrastructures such as airports, uh, baggage handling systems for airports, airport security, uh, air cargo, air cargo security, and uh, the latest was on our uh, body scan uh, for the airports. Uh, 
In addition to those, we have been using uh, similar techniques, which is simulation-based optimization uh, for warehousing and warehouse management and uh, supply chain and supply chain management and distribution centers modeling. But there is an area where uh, simulation has not been fully exploited. Uh, in particular, is health system. Uh, we are able to model uh, hospitals and uh, divisions within the hospitals to improve the operations of a hospital, to improve the uh, quality of service and uh, waiting time for patients and also to reduce the cost, so to make the system, health system a healthier system.